Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets reckless, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say 
does the star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good evening, and welcome to the 123rd South High School Commencement Ceremony. Before I ask our Student Congress President to formally welcome you to this joyous event, we have a few brief reminders about tonight's ceremony. Please take a moment to silence all cell phones and audible electronic devices. And even with the sun shining down on us right now, there may be the potential for some uncooperative weather. Therefore, we'll, we will be mo moving the rewarding of diplomas to the front of the program. While diplomas are being awarded, we ask that you hold off all of your applause until the end so that each student's name can be heard and recognized for this great achievement. Finally, during our recessional, we ask that you remain at your seat until all graduates have left the area, concluding our ceremony. Now, for our formal welcome, it is my pleasure to introduce the Williamsville South Student Congress President, Ms. Sydney Schmidt. Hello, and good evening, class of 2017, family, friends, and South community. Some of you that know me are aware of my love for making playlists, especially ones that I put together as gifts for friends and loved ones. You know that I like to choose songs that have meaning to me in a given relationship, or at least songs that I think are so amazing they must be shared. Well, I thought, what better way to sum up some of the lessons I've learned and my hopes for my fellow graduates than by making a playlist for this occasion. So, class of 2017, this one's for you. Track one is Colors of the Wind from Disney's Pocahontas. This is because I hope you all find success, but never forget to relish the things in life that are free. Take time, as Pocahontas sings, to roll in all the riches all around you, and for once, never wonder what they're worth. Track two is named for you by a band called The Shins, in which they sing a creative take on William Shakespeare's famous line, Oh, what's in a name? This is to remind you that names, labels, and titles are only what you make of them. I hope your hard work pays off in titles that serve you, and that you take the high road when you're called names that don't. Track three is Make You Feel My Love, written by Bob Dylan. I hope that you all find love, and that it's the kind that makes you want, as he sings, to hold on for a million years. Track four is Come On Eileen by Dexie's Midnight Runners, because it was by far my favorite song played at our dances. Track five is Let It Be by The Beatles. When you experience a detour in your path through life, the destination uncertain and the cause unclear, Rest assured that there will be an answer if you have patience and an open mind. Track six is I Can Lift a Car by one of my favorites, Walk the Moon, in which the phrase, I can lift a car up all by myself, is repeated many times. It is impressive to take on a lot of tasks at once, and it is good to push yourself, but sometimes it's possible to take on too much. I hope you realize when this is the case, and you accept help in lifting up that car, whether it be from your friends, family, or unexpected support. Track seven is We Are Not Only What We've Been Before by a band called The Moth and the Flame. This is to remind you that you will always have a second chance, and it is never too late to aspire to be or do something other than what you've been or been doing. Track eight is Laughter Lines by Bastille. The chorus begins with, I'll see you in the future when we're older, when we are full of stories to be told. I look forward to hearing all of your stories. Track nine is All This and Heaven Too by my all-time favorite band, Florence and the Machine. To quote Florence, in thinking about what this day means and what has led up to it, all my stumbling phrases never amounted to anything worth this feeling. I've certainly tried to make sense of it, but it really is indescribable. 
And the last track is none other than What I Did for Love from A Chorus Line, which was our final high school musical. Class of 2017, as a friend of mine belted out on the South stage just months ago, kiss today goodbye, the sweetness and the sorrow. Wish me luck, the same to you. Thank you. Well, this has been an interesting day. At this point, I fully expect it to begin snowing in about 10 minutes. Um, uh, as Mr. Harding said, we're going to be moving the, the presentation of the diplomas up to the front, uh, just in case one of those uh, rainstorms that's off to the west comes in. Prior to the presentation of the diplomas, I have a couple of people I want to recognize. As is part of the tradition here at South, our graduating class officers had the opportunity to vote for the faculty members who will read their names at graduation. Or at graduation. I'd like to take a moment to recognize these special guests, Mr. Kevin Lester and Ms. Andrea Rosansky. In addition, joining us on the stage tonight uh, is a board member who is serving his last year. He is a South grad, uh, his daughter is a South grad, uh, and he has served on our Board of Education for 17 years. Uh, please join me in giving a round of applause to Mr. Ron Schubert. He had trouble getting up, I think it's from being on the Board of Ed for 17 years, actually. At this time, I would like to ask Mr. Mecca, the Vice President of the School Board for the Williamsville Central Schools, to join me up here on stage. As the principal of Williamsville South High School, I present these, the graduates of the class of 2017, to you, certifying that they have met all the obligations and requirements for graduation as set forth by the State of New York and the Board of Education of the Williamsville Central School District. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Education of the Williamsville Central School District, I hereby declare you, the graduates of Williamsville South High School, with all the rights, honors, and privileges due the holders of the diploma you are about to receive. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2017, senior class officers, Andrew Edward Claybone. <laughs> Jen Lee. Jonathan Quinn Lacey. Harrison Anthony Higgins. And now the student Congress officers, Sydney Elise Schmidt. Maggie K. Fusak. <laughs> Isabel N. Lifferton. Yeah! <laughs> now the top 10 students. Sophie Claire Shu Friedman. Miranda S. Roberson. <laughs> Maya S. Walcott. Zachary A. Gewertz. Grace Marie Couchy. <laughs> Katrina Elizabeth Fitzinger. <laughs> Leah Simone Bernecki. <laughs> Haley Lauren Ackerman. <laughs> Robert William Atkins. 
Luz Andrea Arojo Ramirez. Jenna Claire Artist. Anna Christine Bachman. Joseph Paul Backratty. Jessica Ariel Bailey. David Matthew Balk, Jr. Gabriel Rose Bannock. Melanie Marie Basil. Nicholas B. Basinger. Jonathan Michael Bailey. Mitchell Weber Binda. Cam. Ethan Cameron Bomber. Adam D. Brunicki. Daniel Joseph Breyer. Dominic James Bubb. Alexandra Grace Birch. Jared Alexander Burns. Ryan Christopher Burns. Christian M. Caldente Lea. Olivia Mary Camerata. Ilaria Cangini. Allison Lee Carosi. Zari Rose Carr. Matteo Cesarin. Jonathan Michael Chambers. Alexander, Alexandra D. Chimic. Matthew Daniel Krasnowski. Haley G. Coniglio. Michael Douglas Chikowski. Leah Carol Serwinski. Michael Frank DeRigo. Jenny Martin Davis. Justin D. DeJesus. James Robertson Delano. Nathan Paul Del Signori. Alejandro D. Duval. Matthew Joseph De Plato. Russell William DeLiberto. Nicholas Icing. Samantha Fabianiak. Abigail Marie Ferenzi. Joseph Michael Furloin. Serena R. Fernandez. Alexander N. Fix. Damaris Fox. Brandon A. Gaglia. Juliana Lee Gaglione. John M. Janot. Joseph D. Janot. Matthew R. Janot. Khalid Ganim. Katrin Gilhuber. Delaney F. Gilman. Cassandra Grace Gerzone. Samantha Lynn Gorman. Allison Gray. Ashley P. Green. Nicole Chelsea Huber. Alexandria Taylor Hammonds. Ryan Michael Hahn. K. 
Kaylee Ann Marie Hausrath. Jackson William Hawk. Daniel John Hedges. Megan Hernandez. Ruth Teresa Hewson. Braden Scott Homburger. Luke Everett Horton. Sarah Intercola. Shamsul Islam. Malik Amir Jacobs. Tyreek Amari Jacobs. Emma Janice. Scott Andrew Yauk. Abba Karin Jural. Kaylee Nicole Johnson. Sarah Elizabeth Johnson. Antoine D. Jones. Olivia Laura Marie Jones. Madison T. Klawicki. Jacob S. Cantor. Dimitri Lewis Carey. Matthew T. Kennedy. Nataporn Kiri Taneri Rotkol. Alexis N. Colo. David Kuntz. Jenna Noel Kreider. Emily Marie Kemp. Dehung Lee. Kevin William Leach. Robert G. Leach. Anthony J. Leggio. Matthew J. Lennon. Cassandra Lee Lewandowski. Marissa Gabrielle Lewis. Travis H. Lickfield. Tyler D. Liddell. Catherine Grace Lindauer. McCair Shaw Lasicki. Marco Vincenzo Lajacano. Mackenzie Powers Long. Natalie Elizabeth Longo. Carrie Marie Lorenz. Kyle P. Latempio. Saharia Lugo. Sarah M. Larishi. Ashley Elizabeth Limburner. Austin J. McLeod. Hey, bud, Teresa Al McPhee. Are you okay? Joseph Edward Malinowski. 
Anthony J. Marinello. Elena Louise Marshall. Austin Martin. Avonlea Rosette Matheny. Caroline Grace Matulke. Margaret M. McAvoy. Zaria T. McCullough. Sean Patrick McGuire. Christopher J. McQueen. Ashlyn Rose Maynard. Hannah E. Mercer. Jeremy Scott Miller. Lydia Catherine Miller. Sean Joseph Miller. Jacob A. Millman. Aaron Elizabeth Menito. Haley R. Moreno. Jordan D. Morris. Haley Elizabeth Muehlbauer. I'm going to walk through, okay? I'm going to walk through, okay? Emily Marie Muscarella. Alyssa Marie Napo. Christopher Andrew Nelson. Ivan Mikhail Niatopsky. Kylie J. Norton. Evan J. Nowak. Sean O'Bear. James Felix Oliver. James David O'Neill. Alexis Mary Otero. Alexander J. Pazinski. Joshua J. M. L. Paulson. Catherine Laura Peter. Nicholas Anthony Pieri. Travis J. Porterfield. Armani K. Prampersert. Caitlin Sue Corals. Colin Reese Ramroop. Nicholas! Nicholas! Harrison Thomas Reeds. Matthew James Reeser. Anthony L. Ragdos. Jung Sang Ru. Cassandra Alicia Revere. Alexandria A. Rodriguez. Madeline Rowan. Shaquille J. Roll. Kayla Romanini. Amanda Rhiannon Ross. Nathan P. Rue. Olivia L. Russo. Torge Shiel. Alexandra. Right Alexander Schuler. Okay, go. Katie Lynn Schultz. Sierra Jade Schwartz. Nicole Riley Sember. Lucas Sepe. 
Mark Sewer Thomas. Nathan Shaw. Laura Jean Sherwood. Jack E. Steinmetz. Ethan Alexander Stewart. Noah Stick. Nicole A. Stuber. Michael A. Sahena. Ashley M. Sutton. Alexis Marche Swanson. Brent David Safransky. Mikhail Safransky. Alina Tarasova. Taylor Tirana. Nathan Alexander Campbell Tomir. McKinley D. Thornton. Robert J. Taroni. Benjamin Michael Tregilio. Dylan Andrew Utz. Simone E. Vicaro. Samantha M. Bayhu. Kamani Vishal Dodeja. Erica Marie Vollmer. Victoria Marie Walworth. Joshua Wardak. Abigail G. Weaver. Jenna Wild. Ben Wild. Dakota John Wiley. Megan E. Williams. Amanda Westendeck. Jack C. Wojcik. Courtney Wolf. Sarah Nicole Wood. Michael Woods. Mark Worthy Jr. And Elijah Zells. Valid Victorian. Congratulations to the class of 2017. We definitely aren't the same class that started all together in Edmill. We've grown from the tiny, wide-eyed fifth graders hearing horror stories about how much more difficult high school is to adults who have conquered high school. Except all of you who have summer birthdays, sorry you're still 17. We must thank all the administration and all the teachers and staff that have helped make our past four years possible. Mr. Boardman, Mr. Swenson, and Mr. Harding, thank you for keeping our school in line and making it a good environment for all of us. Thank you also to Mr. Boardman for choosing the right tiles for the bathroom. <laughs> thank you to all the staff that help uh, that keep our school running smoothly, and an especially big thank you to the guidance department for helping us through the college admissions process. 
That's a lot of work to do for so many students, and we're grateful that you got us through it. And finally, thank you to all the wonderful teachers we had. I know that not all teachers were able to come to graduation today, like Mr. Chrome, but no matter where they may be, like Italy, they are all extremely appreciated. We are so fortunate to, be, to have been able to attend such a good school. We've had so many opportunities here. I'll be the first to admit that I know nothing about sports, but we have so many teams and funding to support them. I mean, we're getting an entirely new track and field and bleachers, and that's why we weren't able to park. <laughs> we're also so amazing, um, amazingly lucky to have an outstanding music program. Our band, led by the one and only Mr. Cool, is one, and, uh, one of the best. Yeah. And we actually have an orchestra program, unlike a lot of schools. And thank you to Mrs. Noack and Ms. Kinnear, or as everyone keeps telling us to call her, Mrs. Schuler. Every year we put on such amazing musicals and we can show off also the visual arts and the rest of the performing arts during South Celebrates. We have so many clubs to take part in, from Science Olympiad to VIP to Authors United, and we have, such an incredible, we have such an incredible variety of activities here that we can all find our own niche and find where we're comfortable. That being said, we also have a couple collective experiences. We have freshman orientation, homecoming week, and now we have graduation. We started together at the very beginning. Each year we start again, and now we're finishing together. We all walked across the stage. We made it. We made it, oh, we made it this far, but we still have a long way to go. We may have finished this chapter of our lives, but we still have the rest of the series. Some of us are going on to college, some of us into trade school, some of us directly into the military or into the workforce. No matter where you're going, the world is so much bigger than it was in high school. You have the opportunity to le learn even more, grow more, see more. It may be scary and we may not be entirely prepared to be adults, I mean, I only know how to cook rice, but everything will work out in the end. It may not happen the way we expect it to now or the way we want it to, but that's all right, because we'll learn and we'll adapt to new experiences and continue moving forward. Congratulations again to the class of 2017. We made it. It is with my great pleasure to introduce your salutatorian, Miranda Roberson. Thank you, Andrew. And I'd just like to take a moment to thank administration, teachers, and parents for the past four years and give my deepest congratulations to the class of 2017. As we grow older, it's essential to remember to pay attention to those around us. The lessons living in the minds and actions of other people too often go unnoticed, especially those shared by the young ones surrounding us. It's kind of ironic how much you can learn from kids. We can view them as silly or inferior, however, just spend a night with them. You'd be surprised how much you can learn from a five or six year old. All you have to do is simply watch and listen. One night earlier this year, I was babysitting and coloring with a young boy and his sister. I noticed that the boy was purposely coloring outside the lines, creating new shapes and patterns with his intricate but random scribbles. Why are you doing that? I questioned. He simply grinned at me, responding, it looks cool. I like it this way. As time passes, we lose our grasp on this creativity that filled our minds in our childhood, this desire to explore options other than the one sitting right in front of us. As we age, I believe that fear begins to hold us back, the fear of failure. Mistakes are so often stigmatized by side of the We are afraid to try out for a new team, or join the band, or two classes. We are afraid to change our past, even when we aren't satisfied with where we are headed. The fear of failure often overshadows the possible happiness and success at the end of, pro of the process, preventing us from growing. You have to be willing to overcome the fear that the outcome of your trials may not be what you desired at first. You have to be willing to make mistakes. Nothing original is ever created without a few setbacks. This willingness to take a risk, to stray past these boundaries, these lines, is what separates those who are ordinary from those who are extraordinary. As we mature from teens to adults, many of us also manage to become more close-minded, trying to perfectly fit the standard, to recreate someone else's picture, 
when in fact the opposite should be occurring. You have to be willing to look at every situation from a different perspective. You can't see everything from one angle. You can't just see the front cover of the book, but you also have to look at the back, the book jacket. You have to be willing to actually read what's inside. You have to stray from the norm, experience situations outside of your comfort zone, and find that idea, that perspective that calls to you. Everybody perceives things differently. Acknowledge and respect others' perspectives, but stand up for what you know is right, and always, always do what you believe in. We can't be trapped by the confinements of what we think we're supposed to believe and how we're supposed to act. We have to strive to achieve our own goals, our own perspectives of perfection. We will never truly reach our potential until we aim beyond the standards, bypassing our perceived limitations. As we all grow up and go our separate ways, I ask of you, don't lose yourself. Find your creativity. It's in all of us, I promise. Take risks, do what you believe in, be extraordinary, and don't be afraid to color outside the lines. Thank you. It is my pleasure to welcome to the stage the class of 2017 president, Andrew Drugai Clavo. Congratulations, everyone. We have made it. I don't know about you guys, but I thought this day would never come. I remember one time when I was about seven years old, I was in the car with my mother driving on Main Street right over there. When we passed this building, my mom told me that this is where I was going to go to high school. High school, I thought. I still needed to focus on getting to middle school. And suddenly, here we are gathered here one last time on our front lawn for one of the most significant transitions of our lives. Leaving the school that long ago felt so far away. After today, we will no longer be students at Williamsville South, but rather a community of peers influencing the world using the knowledge and skills that we've learned in this very building. We were fortunate enough to attend a school as traditional and historic as South is. This is the 132nd commencement ceremony at Williamsville South all of which has taken place at this very building. However, our class could have been the first class in Will South history to not have our commencement right here due to the construction of our new athletic complex. Thankful for us, we have a team of hardworking principals that had our back and made sure that our graduation here on the steps was made possible. Personally, I couldn't see myself graduating anywhere but right here, where four years ago, we first walked up these steps to start our journey towards this day. For this reason, I would like to thank Mr. Boardman, Mr. Swenson, and Mr. Harding for their support in making sure we had a proper Billy's graduation. The respect between the faculty and students, and paired with our tradition of excellence, is what truly makes South, South. I give the South community a large sum of credit in helping me transform from a young, timid, unevolved freshman into the young man that stands before you today. I'd like to thank my parents, Fred and Terry, for their constant support in all my endeavors, and most importantly, always reminding me to be, the, to be the best I can be. I was also fortunate to grow up with the best big brother a guy could ask for. Thank you, Fred, for your guidance over these past four years. And of course, I wouldn't have gained the confidence to stand up here without my other set of brothers. Huge shout out to my best friends and fellow class officers, Jin, Harrison, and Quinn, as well as the rest of the D-Squad, for all the great memories and camaraderie we experienced together. I would like to take a moment to stress the significance of this event today. Remember when we were small kids and we would say, when I grow up, I want to, or when I grow up, I want to be a... Well, I have a news flash for you guys. We are all grown up. We are now transitioning to the stage of our lives when we have the power to make our dreams come true. This sudden change is exciting, as I'm sure most of you are, myself included. But no transition comes without a share of fear and doubt. When faced with this fear, we are left with two options. One, we can crumble up and allow ourselves to fail. We can both to keep moving forward. Option two doesn't mean that we are just ignoring the fear and brushing it aside, but rather accepting the fear and working to overcome it. So next year, when we all inevitably encounter fear, wherever we may find it, we must remember that letting this fear paralyze us will do us no benefit. 
If we want to find success, we must learn to endure the fear. This advice doesn't just apply to those ending their journey at South, but also the ones that are just beginning their time here. To all underclassmen, I extend the same warning that we received four years ago. Your time here is short. Make the most of it. You are going to remember your high school years for the rest of your life. You can either remember them as you lulling about, biding your time until the bell rings at 2.45, or you can remember high school as a time where you took every opportunity you could to get involved with sports, clubs, and activities. In middle school, I never really got myself involved with a lot of the activities the school had to offer. Then freshman year, I joined the cross country and track team. Then all of a sudden, junior year, I was class president. And this year, I joined Link Crew and became the tech archivist for the Young Political Minds Club. My point is that it is never too late and really easy to get involved in the South community. And as someone who has been both uninvolved and later involved, it is a lot more fun and memorable to be involved. I think that our class embodies involvement at our school, as most everyone is involved in their own way at South. Although our involvement at South is actually coming to an end, I have faith that the same spirit that drove us to get involved in the first place is something that will not go unnoticed by our future colleges and jobs. I believe that our class will continue to display the same amount of passion in their interests, wherever the road may take them. I would like to give one final thank you, and that is to you, class of 2017. Thank you for your unique and passionate spirit. Thank you for your friendship that you've bestowed upon me and others. And lastly, thank you for some of the best memories of my life. Thank you, Class of 2017, and good luck upon your next grand adventure. It is my pleasure to introduce our honored guests this for this evening and welcome them to the 123rd commencement ceremony here at Williamsville South. Dr. Scott Martzloff, Superintendent of Schools. <laughs> Mr. Mark Mecca, Vice President of the Board of Education. <laughs> Mr. Sean LeMay, Board of Education member. Mr. Ronald Schubert, Board of Education member. <laughs> Mr. Ryan Harding, Assistant Principal. Our class advisors, Ms. Carol Jackson and Mr. Chris Quill. A large urban district with over 32,000 students where he was an administrator for operations and served as a high school assistant principal. He began his career as a special education teacher in the Rush Henrietta School District located in suburban Rochester where he also served as an assistant principal. Dr. Marsloff received his bachelor's degree in biology from the College of the Holy Cross in Worcester, Massachusetts and earned his master's degree in educational administration from the State University of New York at Brockport. He received a doctorate in education from the University of Rochester and holds a permanent certification as a school district administrator in New York State. Please welcome Dr. Scott Marsloff. Thank you, Harrison, for that very kind introduction. As your school superintendent, I am truly honored to share this special day with you and your families. Your parents, in particular, recognize your potential the very first day you started kindergarten 13 years ago. Their hopes and their dreams walk this stage with you today. Your teachers, school administrators, counselors, and coaches are also here to cheer you on as you receive your high school diploma. We are all very proud of you for achieving this milestone, and in our hearts, we know that your finest hour is yet to come. You have responded to the high demands placed on you by the Williamsville Central School District and the State of New York. The South High School Class of 2017 has amassed an impressive list of accomplishments. I am very proud to report this evening that the graduates sitting before us today had been awarded more than $3.1 million in college scholarships. <laughs> a 
Over 90% of you will be attending a two-year or four-year college, including some of the very best universities in the country. These impressive numbers rival those of private schools that charge exorbitant tuitions. We are very fortunate to live in a community that truly values and supports a high quality public education for all children. Now in the coming weeks, many people will offer you advice about your future. And since I had the stage for a few minutes, I want to share some thoughts of my own. I promise to keep it short, if not memorable. As you prepare yourself for the work and detours ahead, there are three personal attributes I would like to address. Your character, your ability to overcome adversity, and staying true to yourself. Character is demonstrated in what we do, how we do it, and why we do it. It is rooted in homegrown values such as honesty, integrity, kindness, and respect. True character reveals itself in how we treat others every day, especially those who have nothing to offer us in return. And true character is revealed when we stand up for what we know is right, regardless of what others are doing, saying, or what they may think. Over the years, I have witnessed your caring spirit as you volunteered countless hours to our community, above and beyond what was expected. South students supported the district food pantry throughout the year, wore orange to show solidarity against bullying, and wore pink to support breast cancer awareness. You held the fourth annual South Celebrates event and the Billy's on the Run 5K race to promote healthy lifestyles and family fun. Character builds over time through our experiences and actions. I have no doubt that the character you have developed at home and here at South during your youth will continue to grow as you cross the threshold into adulthood. Character is also reflected in how we work our way back when we get knocked down. Overcoming adversity is the secret of champions. It's not what happens to you, but how you respond to it that is important. There are countless examples of very famous people who struggled mightily before achieving success. Albert Einstein, J.K. Rowling, Steven Spielberg, Derek Jeter, just to name a few. But most of you need to only look to your own family members, your neighbors, friends, and classmates to find someone you know who overcame significant hardships to live the life they are living now. Draw inspiration from those who are closest to you. Bear witness to their courage and move on. As Winston Churchill said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Adversity is a great teacher. Embrace the lessons learned and embrace and endeavor to do better next time. Finally, follow no one's path but your own. Others can't learn the lessons for you. Stay true to yourself. No one on earth walks the same path as you, which is what makes life so remarkable. Michael Josephson, is a former law professor and an author who created Character Counts, a character development initiative based on shared values. Josephson said, don't let others define you, don't let the past confine you. Take charge of your life with confidence and determination and there are no limits on what you can do or be. As you prepare to graduate from high school today, you are no longer shielded from the harsh realities of violence, intolerance, and senseless hatred that ravage our world. Recent terror attacks in England took many innocent lives, many of them young people. It's difficult to find the good sometimes, but echoing what Ariana Grande said shortly after the Manchester, Manchester attack at her concert, don't let hate win. The opportunities and challenges ahead will be abundant and at times will be daunting. Always lean toward kindness, be true to yourself, and never give up. It's important for you to know that everyone here believes in you. We know you have the capacity to change our world for the better. We know you have what it takes to live your dreams. I wish you the very best and look forward to following your accomplishments as you live the life you were meant to live. Congratulations, Williamsville South, Class of 2017.
Mr. Mark Mecca was elected the Williamsville South Board in 2015 and currently serves in the role of Vice President. Mr. Mecca earned his master's degree in school psychology from Edinburgh University and also holds a master's degree in educational administration from Kinesis College. He is employed by the Buffalo City School District as a school psychologist. Please welcome Mr. Mark Mecca. Sydney, thank you very much for the introduction. And what a beautiful graduation ceremony this has been so far. All of the speeches from the students and others have been awesome. And I am so honored to be a part of this celebration tonight and to have the opportunity to speak with everyone. From the entire Board of Education, I would like to congratulate the, graduation, the graduating class of 2017, everybody. I'm certain that with the high level of talent that exists among these graduates, that this is just one of many awesome accomplishments to come. Ironically, today I would like to speak with you about taking risks, failing, and accepting yourself and others. You'll have to forgive me as I'm an old person, like your parents. So I'm going to make reference to music that is familiar to me from the 1980s. The Thompson Twins. Graduates, how good was your music education? Are you familiar with the Thompson Twins? No? No. Okay, even if you, are, even if you were, you'd have to dig deep into their catalog for this gem. Quote, you can betray your dreams or trade them in for a life that's easy to lead or you can gather pearls on the coral reef, walk the wall of China, or fall in love. While I'm sure your parents have worked hard to keep you out of harm's way, and likely may not want, may not want to hear me say this, don't always do what's easy. Take risks, and as the title of that Thompson Twins song says, follow your heart. Sometimes you don't have all the information adding up to say that something is or isn't a good decision, or sometimes the decisions are just too hard to make because of the risks. Sometimes in life you just have to take a leap of faith and trust that it will just work out. And it will because you will make it. Don't get me wrong, when you take a risk, sometimes you will fail. Failure is underrated. It is one of life's best teaching tools. Let me name some failures that you may know of. Perhaps you've heard of Walt Disney. He was fired from his job at the Kansas City Star because his editor felt that he, quote, lacked imagination and had no good ideas. <laughs> Thomas Edison, his teachers told him he was, quote, too stupid to learn anything. I'm glad that teacher doesn't work for our school district because that'd be a problem saying that to a student. After that, Edison was fired from his first two jobs because of productivity issues. Mark Mecca, myself, while I don't rate with the likes of Disney and Edison, I lost my first school board election. But hey, now I'm the vice president. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the keys to learning from and doing well with failure are to realize that one, you will experience failure and this is normal. Everybody does and should. Two, you have to persistently pursue your goals despite failure. And three, you need to believe in yourself and you have to have people in your life who also support you. Surround yourself with positive friends so that you can elevate each other. This time, I'll quote an artist you've likely heard of, Taylor Swift, also deep from her catalog. The final blow hits you. Somebody else gets what you wanted again, and you know it's all the same, another time and place. Repeating history, and you're getting sick of it. But I believe in whatever you do, and I'll do anything to see it through, because these things will change. As you go through life, you will realize that there is no perfect, and it can be very difficult. Even people who have good resources available, available to them find life to be challenging at times. Just one bit of advice for you, try to be understanding when other people aren't perfect. This is especially hard when their imperfection impacts upon you. But it fits the golden rule, which is to treat everyone the way that you would like to be treated. Then, along with this, understand that you are not perfect and accept your faults and be okay with it. As Ted Koppel said, quote, aspire to decency, practice civility toward one another, admire and emulate ethical behavior wherever you find it, apply a rigid standard of morality to your lives, and if, periodically, you fail, as you surely will, adjust your life, not the standards. 
Class of 2017, congratulations sincerely from the Board of Education. Good luck on your journey. I wish I was in your shoes as this is sure to be a very exciting time in your lives. Thank you very much. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Williamsville South Bands performing Flourish for Wind Band, conducted by the one and only Mr. Matthew S. Cool. to introduce Williamsville South Concert Choir singing Old Irish Blessings under the direction of Miss Catherine Ludwig.
is now my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Cheryl Goldstone presenting the Eugene F. Colas Jr. Scholarship. Good evening. I'd like to begin by congratulating all the members of the class of 2017 as you continue your journey on the road of life. Whether that road leads to the college, military, or the world of work, I hope the lessons that you learned at South will serve you as you enter the next chapter of your life. Tonight I am honored to present the Eugene F. Colas Jr. Memorial Scholarship. Each year, the Williamsville Teachers Association awards the Eugene F. Colas Jr. Memorial Scholarship to a graduating senior from each of the three high schools who plans to pursue a career in education. The scholarship is named in honor of Jean Colas, a biology teacher at East High School and president of the Williamsville Teachers Association, who passed away unexpectedly in 1989. Mr. Colas was a force in bringing the WTA to a prominent position in the community and earning the respect of all WTA members by working tirelessly on their behalf. Tonight it gives me great pleasure to be able to present the award to a young woman who has worked tirelessly for four years. In my letter of recommendation, I shared that she is a motivated and dignified young lady who thoughtfully considers her choices in life with a realistic sense of right and wrong. She has a positive attitude, is easy to know, has a strong conscience, and the discipline to work hard no matter how she She is a self-disciplined individual and possesses a high degree of maturity. She always strives to excel in everything she does. Her passion is music, and coming from a family of educators and musicians, she knew from an early age the path she wanted to follow. Her enthusiasm and passion for her craft will help her become the teacher her students will look up to. She has learned from some of the best, best both here at South and at home. Please join me in congratulating Cassandra Gerzone as a recipient of It is now my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Judy Daniels presenting the Williamsville PTSA Council Scholarship. I have the honor of presenting the Williamsville PTSA Council Scholarship Awards. These awards in the amount of $750 each are given to four graduates from each of the three Williamsville high schools. The scholarships are made possible through a joint contributions of all 14 Williamsville School District PTA and PTSA units and the proceeds from the PTSA Council Holiday Craft Show. The selection committee is made up of an adult representatives from all three high schools. The criteria for selection include academic achievement, activities in and outside of school, service to the community, personal initiative, and the character, poise, and communication skills displayed during an interview. I would like to congratulate all the applicants for this award on their tremendous accomplishments during their high school years. The selection of the winners was extremely difficult. It is now my pleasure to announce the South High School recipients of this year's Williamsville PTSA Council Scholarships. Alexandria Hammonds. Catherine Peter. Jackson Hawk. Congratulations. 
and Nicole Semper. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Jason Swenson presenting the Certificate of Perfect Attendance. Good evening. I have the honor of recognizing four students for their remarkable achievement of perfect attendance throughout their high school career. These students have demonstrated uncommon discipline and perseverance as they work each day to come to South regardless of circumstance. This accomplishment requires rare dedication on the part of the student and their family, and for that, we honor them. Ladies and gentlemen, the following student recipients of the Certificate of Perfect Attendance are Dominic Bubb, <laughs> Serena Fernandez, Ashley Green and Jung Sang Ru. At this time, we'd like to call up uh, Ms. Jackson and Mr. Quill. We would like to thank them for their guidance over this past year and for their class advisor, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> but um, thank you, Mr. Quill and Ms. Jackson, for all your hard work and thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> As is customary at the South commencement, at this time I'd like to ask any past Williamsville South graduate in attendance this evening to please rise to recognize the strong family tradition of attendance at South High School. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to call Mr. Keith Boardman back up to the lectern for the farewell address. I can honestly say that I will definitely have a problem with my neck tomorrow because I've spent half this ceremony looking in that direction. <laughs> and it's a little gray, but I think we're okay. To the class of 2017, I first want to say congratulations on all that you have achieved. I cannot thank you enough for the work ethic and leadership that you, the class of 2017, demonstrated during the past four years. You've set an incredibly high standard for the students of South High School who will follow in your footsteps. And the legacy that you leave behind is one that any of the 122 previous graduating classes can be proud of. Over the last four years, you've heard me say many times that at South High School, we're proud of the tradition of excellence. And this year, the word tradition seems particularly relevant as we, end the, as we end this year. As probably everyone knows by now, Kevin Lester, a man who I only half-jokingly refer to as the uh, mayor of Williamsville South, is retiring. Kevin has served the Williamsville Central School District for 46 years and has served as our building athletic director for over 30 years. What many of you don't know, and probably what's um, almost more importantly to, uh, to us, is that Kevin has sort of served as the unofficial historian for this building, a legacy that so many South alumni hold near and dear to their hearts. 
And now it's my turn to remind you, the class of 2017, that you are now members of that legacy. It's true that this ceremony marks the occasion that says you're no longer a student here at South, but everything you do and who you become is very much a part of our tradition. South High School is not and never has been solely about the people here in the building. South High School is also about the people who came before us and the people who will follow for many years to come. And as you leave here today, know that we, or this, excuse me, know that you are part of the community that we are very proud of and proud to say upholds the tradition of excellence each and every day. At this time, please do me a favor and take a moment to look around at your classmates. This will very likely be the last time that this remarkable group of young people will all be together in one place in front of the historic Tower Bell. So if I could ask one thing of you before you leave South High School, it would be commit yourselves fully to the ones you care most about. Make sure that family and close friends always come first. And finally, give those closest to you the greatest gift that you can give anyone, your time. And now, in the great tradition of South High School, we will, we will ring the historic Tower Bell, honoring the class of 2017 for their years here in the Waynesville Central School District. time, I ask all members of the class of 2017 to stand. And at this time, move your tassels from right to left to signify your graduation from Williamsville South High School. <laughs> to the class of 2017, Thank you, congratulations, best of luck, and farewell. Someone almost got me.